Hey guys, welcome back to Foil Fridays. Today, uh, we had Cam out here to test a bunch of foils this morning, and the wind has taken a little break for us. So, I will line up a bunch of foils here, and we're gonna do some comparisons and talk about the similarities, differences, and maybe which one will be right for you. So we'll separate this into a few different videos, and uh, we'll just get it rolling here. And we've got all of our foils here. And I mean, I guess really this isn't all of the foils that we have for demo, but these are the ones we brought down with us today. These are the ones we ride most frequently. Uh, so we'll talk about some of the similarities, some of the differences going on in these, and uh, hopefully we can help you out, find out which one's right for you or which wing you should maybe add to your current quiver. These are some foils that we get asked about an awful lot. Um, there's a lot of options out there in the market right now. Um, you might even know approximately what size you want, uh, but haven't had the opportunity to ride all these different foils. Um, so I'm gonna break down kind of our medium size surfy foils here for you guys right now. Um, these ones are a real favorite for kiteboarders in a variety of sizes, you know, from the light guys riding with less power, all the way up to the heavy guys, you know, just looking for kind of a versatile do-it-all foil. Um, it's a great place to start out for new riders because these give you great lift on the low end without a bunch of speed. They're also very stable, um, yet still playful enough to be fun to ride around and rip around. Um, so what I have here is the NAF, Nash Surf Thrust, Thrust Surf. We have the Slingshot Time Code 68, uh, formerly known as the H1 Wing. And then we have the Liquid Force Impulse. And that one is also known by the Cloud9 S24. Same design, different logo for the guys at Cloud9. It's actually designed by the guys at Cloud9 Surf Foils. Talk to you about that as well. All three of these wings are very similar in terms of size, um, in terms of intention. They're all a lot of fun. Um, and it can make picking one very difficult. Um, the good news is there's really not a bad choice. Uh, I can feel confident in saying that if you grab any of these and uh, as long as you're, you know, of the right weight and intention, um, you know, you're not some 300 pound guy trying to surf these in two foot high waves or something, uh, they're going to do very good, both kite and then also for surfing. So they have great crossover uh, and in wakeboarding as well, or wake surfing I should say. So first up, the Nash Thrust Surf. Uh, this one here is the large size. Uh, you could also compare the medium size to these ones. Um, but due to these big bent down wing tips, um, a lot of the surface area um, doesn't go entirely towards lift. It does make a really neat dynamic feeling foil that wants to accelerate through turns well uh, with these. But that lift is kind of projected outward rather than upward for a lot of that surface area. So I think I could compare the, uh, the large to these as well. Um, so the unique thing about this one, as I said, those turned down wing tips, we have an anhedral rear wing and it will actually adjust, if you can see in here, and you see there on the uh, wing tip there, tell you, you can adjust the pitch of that rear wing. So that's what's kind of neat about this one. Um, you can adjust that pitch a little bit more angle. Uh, more lift if you're at a lower speed or a heavier guy um, or if you want a little higher speed or you're dealing in big waves um, or you just want a little higher top end speed when you're kiteboarding you can flatten out that angle just a little bit um, any tiny increment is going to make a difference so don't go you know really changing it a lot one to two degrees is a lot of change um, so that's this one you can also see behind me we have the abracadabra plate on it which is new for 2019. Uh, what that allows you to do is swap masts um, more quickly. So if you're somebody that takes your foil apart every time you ride it, it's gonna reduce the amount of time it takes you to get that set up. 
um, or if you're swapping complete foils, it'll allow you to swap foils more quickly. Um, it's a neat idea, it saves you a little bit of time, adds a touch of weight, um, and uh, just make sure you keep that thing clean. Don't want to cake it up with any kind of grime or sand because that could uh, make that whole speedy operation into a slower operation, so keep an eye on that. We'll scooch down here. Next, we have our Time Code 68. This is part of the Hover Glide platform from Slingshot. Phenomenal for kiteboarding for big guys like me. Uh, allows you a great top end speed, but still low end lift in a very maneuverable, playful foil. So it kind of hits that sweet spot uh, like a lot of these medium surf foils do for kiteboarding, um, where you still have a good top end speed, but you can still play around, ride waves with it. You know, once it gets up to chest high, you can even surf this wing when you're as heavy as me, uh, up near the 190 pound range. Very versatile wing, one of our favorites. It's a great quiver wing if you're a surfer. Um, you know, as a step up for a little bit bigger waves or for smaller guys, this is going to be an awesome surf wing. For you, it's very playful, it pumps really well. Um, and as you can tell, we love it for kiteboarding as well. Some of the benefits of the slingshot system is really its, its modularity and its durability. These things are bomb proof. You have a solid aluminum fuselage, a aluminum mast. These wings are super hard, super solid. They are stiff to beat the band. Um, and I have yet to see one actually like break um, over the years. So that's saying something. It is very strong. As you can tell, you've got an alternate mounting point for your fuselage here for those guys on, on wake surfing or uh, surfers that need to move that, those wings forward uh, to get you know a little further forward on a larger board or something. Um, but most most kiteboarders prefer it in the front wing setting here. Um, so that is the slingshot system. They have seven wings. You just swap the front wing um, for the SUP, the very the super large Infinity 86. You're actually going to swap the rear wing as well. Um, but lots of options to fine tune your ride, and uh, this is the one you're going to have to buy an entirely new foil uh, every time you want a different kind of feel. So, lastly, here we have the Liquid Force Impulse. This one has the Cloud 9 S24 front wing. It's their design, uh, licensed it to Liquid Force for the Impulse, and this is another one of those medium-sized wings. It's a lot of fun. It's very playful. It has great low-end lift, uh, due partially to that thick leading edge, um, that thicker foil on the front. So it's got some great lift for its size, and uh, because of that also, it doesn't have the highest top-end speed, but it will you know, really uh, get moving fast enough for most kiteboarders and, uh, you know, really get out there and play nicely. Something special about the Liquid Force Impulse is that it's quite lightweight for an aluminum massive foil. Um, it has a carbon fuselage. It's very light by comparison uh, to the other two that we're talking about today that have solid aluminum fuselages. Um, so that helps lower the weight and that really gives you a little more uh, quick response, I should say. There, there's not as much weight to move around, so it, it's just a little bit more nimble, uh, even given you know the size of the wing. Uh, additionally, you've got the Liquid Force mast system here, so they've got different size masts to choose from, and it's all compatible uh, with the rest of the Liquid Force systems that have been released previously. Um, so you can put a thruster wing or happy wing or rocket wing on this as well. You can, it's compatible with Cloud9 systems, so if you want to put uh, the P27 wing on this for surfing, you can do that as well. Um, so really great versatile system. Now, across all three of these, there are some similarities. Uh, obviously their size, their design. Most of them have an anhedral curve here. All three of them, in fact, have an anhedral curve. That's a downward curve on the front wing. Um, so that really has a nice rolling feeling in the turns. It also allows the wing to have a feeling of accelerating through the turn um, and, and kind of building like that G-force feeling. Uh, so they're really fun, tons of fun to just put on edge and, and rip around on turns uh, at higher speeds. As I had mentioned, 
The Liquid Force is going to be the lightest of the bunch by about two pounds. It's also a little bit more expensive than the other two options. The Slingshot system has the most options in terms of wings uh, by a long shot. So if you're looking for something with lots of different options and uh, availability to upgrade and modify, they've got different fuselage links, different mast links, different connection styles, um, plenty of different wings to have fun with almost any application. Um, so that is a great one there. It also happens to be the most affordable of the group. So there's a ton of bang for your buck in this foil and uh, a lot of us really enjoy it. Lastly, the Nash Surf Large or Medium if you choose for the smaller size. What's special about this one, it kind of sits between the two in terms of price and weight. Uh, so you get a little bit of the, the benefit of the lesser weight um, without spending you know, a few hundred extra bucks on the Impulse. Uh, also, they have a number of different wings. They have a very speedy kite wing this year. If you're into windsurfing, they have wings for that. And uh, additionally, they have an XL wing this year for you really big guys or you surfers looking to get out in the smallest of waves. Look at that in our next video. But uh, yeah, this is them. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to reach out to us at the shop. Um, I know I'm missing things. I'm not addressing everything necessarily here. But this is just a quick run through of some of the, the basic differences uh, between them. Drop your comments in the section below. I uh, will be happy to get at your questions and comments and uh, kind of let you know uh, anything we might have missed. And uh, also, if you've ridden some of these foils, we'd love to hear what you think as well. Um, everybody's got their own opinion. If you're in love with one of these foils, you own one of these foils and you just uh, want to rave about it, put that in the section below. We'd love to hear about it. It's always cool to hear about other foilage experiences as well. And as always, if you have not already, hit the subscribe button, man, because we've got a lot of cool new videos coming. If you want to see all this neat new stuff and the other sizes of the foils compared when those drop. So go ahead and hit that. Until next time, this has been Tucker.